Chris, thank you so much. And uh, I certainly acknowledge you and Dr. Elizabeth Coombs, uh, Ahmet, Ed Santo, uh, the many, many special guests that are in this room, uh, my secretary, Jim Longley, uh, too many guests to, to name. Uh, but can I thank you? I feel incredibly humbled to, uh, to be in this room. Can I just acknowledge also the work of Affinity and what you do? And uh, I have already uh, been advised of uh, these wonderful lectures and uh, greatly appreciate the opportunity to be here today as a very, very uh, new Minister for Multiculturalism who I keep on uh, saying that I'm very much on L plates and I'm learning. As Chris said, I will, uh, I will get in touch with uh, many of these communities over the next couple of years. Can I say that in five and a half weeks, I have just about seen all of them. I, I, I thought I could only be busy as a Member of Parliament. I've gone way past busy, but I've had the great pleasure of meeting and greeting uh, many people across the diverse communities, and I enjoy them all. When people initially asked me why I entered politics, I used to say, well, I have a growing, rapidly growing area out in northwest Sydney, and it's been deprived of important services such as roads and public transport and hospitals and schools. And so I, I guess my response is that I'm here to help build stuff, to, uh, to provide the infrastructure that our communities need. But taking on this role, um, I think back to uh, the values that were instilled in me very much by my parents of having respect for all people regardless of race, regardless of religion, regardless of gender, and very, very importantly, regardless of a, the colour of a person's skin. I was raised with those values. They are very much the values that now guide me. And so if someone asks me today uh, why had I entered polit politics, it would very much to be to maintain the wonderful quality of life that we have in this country, to ensure that that doesn't diminish, to ensure we go forward as a community in a cohesive manner. And I think this uh, country is uh, the envy very much of the world. I think what we have created here is a wonderful Australian culture. And it is the sum total of every nationality around the world. And we should be very, very proud of that because to the 99% of people who work hard every day and make a positive contribution to this country, they all should be valued. They're certainly valued by me and they're certainly valued by our government and our Premier. And I don't think there is any greater example of our support for diversity than through the election of a lady who uh, is of Armenian migrant parents who struggled with the English language when she commenced school in this city and has now risen to the highest office in New South Wales, our Premier Gladys Berejiklian. Not only a wonderful representative on behalf of our diverse communities, but what a wonderful ambassador for women across this country. She's a great mate, she's a great friend, and I'm very, very sure in the future the people of New South Wales will come to admire her just as much as I am. She's here as a person to represent all of New South Wales. She is certainly doing that, and she has a great passion uh, to improve this state as I certainly do. I think that's far too much, as Chris did emphasise. I only had two minutes. You know what it's like when you give a politician a microphone? I'm conscious of that. But can I thank you once again for the opportunity to be here and to work with you into the future to create a much more socially cohesive New South Wales. Thank you.